Now, France is urging Lebanon to undertake serious reform after the devastating Beirut port blast, warning that the country risked disappearing as a state if it failed. French President Emmanuel Macron is visiting Lebanon next week to hammer home that message of the need for change, which he made on his last trip to Beirut. That was August 6, two days after that devastating explosion left close to 200 dead. Here's more from the French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian. Lebanese authorities must put into place a stronger government which will oversee absolutely indispensable reforms. Otherwise, the international community will not be able to help. We're not going to sign a blank check for a government that will not implement reforms that everyone knows is necessary. There's no government in Lebanon right now, so they need to form one and quickly because this is an emergency. There are deep wounds in the country and a humanitarian and sanitary crisis, but there's also a political emergency that we want Lebanon to get through. The risk today is that Lebanon doesn't survive. Well, to talk a bit more about the situation in Lebanon, let's bring in our Beirut correspondent, Leila Molana Allen. Leila, some very strong words there uh, from Le Drian ahead of Macron's visit next week. Well, of course, we know that Le Drian has uh, spoken quite strongly about Lebanon in the past as well. Just a few months ago, he was saying, for God's sake, help us, help you put in some of these reforms so that we can do something for you, Lebanon. But of course, there where he says Lebanon is in danger of disappearing as a state, what Lebanon is he talking about? Because Lebanese people here would say that they have taken on the mantle of the state since this explosion and that the formation of a new government here isn't what they want and won't do anything. Of course, at the end of last year, we saw when Saad Hadi, the former prime minister, resigned and a new government was formed after several months. He resigned, of course, in response to the end of last year's protests. Uh, a new government was formed. Hassan Diab took on that mantle at the beginning of this year and put together his cabinet. And they then didn't impose any of the reforms they said they would within six months and were then forced to resign in response to the public reaction to this explosion on the 4th of August. So because a resignation of a government doesn't prompt a new election here, uh, this current parliament was elected in 2018, so there's almost two years left until a new election is necessary. Uh, all that's going to happen now, if they do push towards a new government, is exactly the same process where each of the political blocs works together to find a prime minister they all find palatable. And then he puts together, uh, I say he because there doesn't seem to be a female candidate at the moment, but of course many people hope there would be, puts together uh, a new cabinet. And once again, people here feel that it's the same parliament, so why would anything be done differently? So many people would respond to those comments there saying, finding a new government here is pointless. Even if there is a new election, which some politicians have been calling for, if the system remains the same, the way that these sectarian blocs divide up the seats between them, people in Lebanon, many of the protesters saying the result would still be the same. So they don't believe in the governmental system. And so while they do want help from France and other countries, they don't want it to be based on this current political system. For weeks, they have been clamoring for the aid that's coming from President Macron and other leaders to go directly into their hands, people working on the streets as volunteers, working with local NGOs to rebuild everything, to clear up, to find people shelter and medical care and food aid, very, very little coming from the government such as it is. Mm. Leila, President Macron visited Beirut, the site of the blast, so just two days after they happened. He's coming back next week. Has anything changed in the week since the French president visited? A few things have changed. Largely, the anger has grown. The despair has turned into anger. There is now very clear evidence that on at least a dozen occasions over the last six years, letters were sent from the Customs and Port Authority to various leaders, including the most recent government, Hassan Diabs, uh, about this ammonium nitrate sitting in the port. In July, both the, pre the President Aoun and the former Prime Minister, Hassan Diabs, uh, have confirmed that they knew that it was sitting there. So simply the people on the ground are furious and believe that the government and this parliament are responsible for the deaths and injuries of so many people here. So the response when Macron comes next week is likely to be even more. And of course, one of the reasons it's coming on the 1st September is that will be the 100 year anniversary of the foundation of an independent Lebanon. Many people here saying this is the opportunity for a completely new system and way forward. There still has been very little action on the ground on the part of any political actors. And so they will probably be looking to President Macron, as they did last time, begging for him not to work hand in hand with this government. Leila, thank you for that. Leila Milana Allen, they're reporting from Beirut.